Hello everyone, I am Vikramaditya here. I am an SAP architect and I have been working in SAP since uh, 2004 and it's almost like 13 years now. And here I am discussing about the very basics of SAP HANA from a layman's perspective. Uh, I'm, I'm not using any technical words here. Uh, in, in simple English, I'm trying to explain you why SAP HANA and what are the features of SAP HANA and why is it, why, is, why there's so much of talk regarding SAP HANA. So for any online and classroom trainings, you can contact me on, on my email ID. You can see my mail on the screen. Or even if you have any queries regarding SAP, you can always write to me on this mail ID. Now, SAP is basically a company which was started in 1972 and it was started by ex-IBM employees in a place called Waldorf and it, it got expanded into the global market uh, in, in considerable time uh, in, the, in the next two decades. Now, the company's major focus initially was to, you know, build an ERP software basically to run a business a uh, big business business basically on a single software let's like just like your 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 smartphone uh, enables you you to use uh, different features on a single device sap also wanted all the different departments of a company to run on a single software uh, which which in itself is a revolution uh, in, and uh, it was it was very mu very much successful to do that now SAP's journey in the ERP was way back from 1972. Uh, we had a lot of software versions that SAP had launched from real-time software, real-time two-tier software, real-time three-tier software. And then in the real-time three-tier was pretty successful and it had also had a lot of versions like 3.0, 3.5. In, in fact, like we had 4.5a, 4.5b, 4.5c and so on and so on and we had the last version in r3 was 4.6c which was and also the 4.6 enterprise edition was very popular that's when uh, sap decided to go ahead with uh, a new name and it came up with a name called ecc and uh, that's erp central component which had 5.0 and 6.0 version from 6.0 version sap had been launching enhancement packages and these enhancement packages whenever, whenever is installed uh, in, in our system would enable us with new features and that's what SAP has had done. And coming to the SAP software solutions, other than the ERP solution, they had a lot of other solutions which SAP had come up with like CRM, APO, SRM, SCM, SEM. So CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. So basically it focuses only on in lead generation for the customer for the company and then retaining the existing customers management of the customers and you know uh, and trying to retrieve the customers who are trying to leave the company so on and so on. So basically it's major focus always around customers and this was a, a individual uh, dimension which sap had been launched and it has crm has nothing to do with ecc they can be interconnected but it's a thing it's a separate software and they also came up with a platform like netweaver which uh, which had uh, multiple modules in it which also includes the most successful bwbi uh, which is actually a data warehousing solution sap had also launched industry specific solutions like industry is oil and gas is retail is stands for industry specific and we had 50 other industry specific solutions added which sap had launched in the market now having been launched so many softwares in so many versions why is it so that we have uh, you know so much of launch so much of talk uh, regarding hana so now why hana now, based on the challenges of the industry, SAP upgrades its solutions to resolve them in the best way it could. That's common for all the, all the softwares and it has been doing it from, from 1972. There are many industry challenges that can be resolved using SAP HANA. So, it, it's not just one solution which SAP HANA is providing us. It's a combination of multiple solutions which, which actually focuses on the major challenges that the SAP, that the industry is facing now, almost in all types of industries. Now, SAP strategy. 
what exactly is the organizational strategy we use basically they were more focused on selling only the software so sap used to sell a software and now uh, it is selling a combination of hardware plus software and hana is a, a, a appliance appliance means it's a combination of software and hardware now, now if you purchase a smartphone uh, you cannot purchase a software separately and hardware separately it's a combination of both so that is called that is something which we call it as an appliance it's an example of an appliance now here business scenario so here sap had different versions different softwares let's say sap ec 6.0 might be working on oracle db sap bi 7.0 might might have been working on ms sql microsoft sql and uh, crm would be working on ibm db2 but it, it, in in those days or in the before the hana before hana sap enabled any database in sap software was enabled in such a way that it can be platform independent and database independent that means sap software can run on any of the databases but when sap hana has been launched it uh, it has been launched as a combination of hana studio hana database and hana uh, hana database also includes uh, everything which handles the database and added to this we also the sap also sells the hardware with its its partners so in the future all the above softwares upgraded versions will work only on sap hana database what i mean by this is if at all if sap is going ahead with ecc 7.0 a new version of ecc would always run on hana it's already been launched and bi 7.0 was running on any of the databases but bw 7.4 would always be running on hana database and any new version of sap software is been launched by default it would be uh, it would be uh, it would be on hana database only it can work only on hana database now sap hana in 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 memory database let's say there are two systems i'm just taking an example here wherein i'm considering there are two two uh, you know uh, com personal computers with 8 gb ram and 16 gb ram so which one will be running faster obviously the 16 gb ram right the fastest system would be one with ram equal into rom what do you mean by this if at all the basic concept of ram would be to bring it's uh, to bring the data from the database retrieve it and present it to us so what if the ram need not go to hard disk every time to bring the data at all and what if the ram has all the data that is required for you yes that's what actually hana enables us enables to for us to do and basically it's not that when i say ram equivalent to rom sap has designed the ram in such a way that the ram is capable enough of storing all the data of a hard disk in one fifth of the space because as we all know that ram is a pretty costly hardware and sap wanted to make sure that it still stores all the data which we have in ram in rom that's hard disk in the ROM, in the ram with as less space as possible so it, which has been achieved very successfully and it's that is the reason it's called in memory database and I, let me repeat why it is called in memory database is because hana stores all the data in ram and there is a misconception that sap has sap saves sap hana saves data only in ram no all data that is saved in the ram as also has a copy in the hard disk so there is a there is a, there is always a permanent copy of it right okay now this is something which is a uh, one advantage of hana but we have plenty of other advantages which we we, we can understand and, uh, and and explore basically in going forward uh, in, in in detailed uh, detailed uh, classes i would be explaining you what are the features that sap hana has
and by understanding this we would be very clear that if at all if we have to focus on a long term sap career sap hana is a mandatory thing that we have to do uh, and if somebody is wondering why then i have uh, i have the answers and uh, we can discuss uh, furthermore on this sap hana and different versions that are coming up in hana and what are different features that are in, in, that are that are happening in hana and you can also write a mail to me asking what exactly is suitable for you if at all if if uh, you know if you, if you write uh, if if you want any suggestion regarding your career on sap you can write to me on uh, on my mail id which you can see on the screen and you can always ask me questions like why we have to go with what we are already going and if at all if you are if you are if your educational background based on your educational background based on your experience i can definitely suggest you which uh, which path in sap would be good for you better for you in the long term future so have a nice day and thanks for watching my video and if at all if you like it if you if at all if you like it please share this with your friends and uh, please write to me for any kind of queries on sap thank you very much